What's cracking with your snacking snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. And you might think tonight is time for pizza night, right? No, you're wrong, because tonight it's time to say hello to an old friend, and that's takeout tonight. And tonight's takeout comes from a place that started out as a food truck here in good old Washington, D.C. What's it called? It's called District Taco. It's time for tacos and burritos, guys. Let's grub right after this on Takeout Tonight. You are looking live at District Taco here on Leesburg Pike in Falls Church, Virginia, right next to the Buffalo Wild Wings. Why am I here? Well, I'm here to check out a food truck that's become a standalone restaurant. That's right. It's District Taco, and it's tonight on Takeout Tonight. Never fear, Pizza Night will return next week, but we got takeout tonight, this week, for Friday night, December 9th, 2016. Least wanted, why? Unappreciative. Expensive novelty antlers make Cat wish she'd never been born. That's a very sullen looking kitty, but pretty cute with those reindeer antlers on. Anyway, takeout tonight brings me to a place across the border tonight. It brings me to District Taco. And basically what we've got going on with District Taco is an array of things, mostly burritos and tacos, wouldn't you know? And uh, they started as a food truck in 2009. They've since branched out and they've got several locations throughout. DC and Virginia at this point, the Bailey's Crossroads location there on Leesburg Pike being the latest location. And today I got a sampling of things to try. I got, of course, a burrito. I got a taco, which is in that little foil envelope there. And in that bag, I got a small bag of chips, which came with some queso. All right, so let's t see what we got one by one. All right, so in this cardboard bowl here, I've got a big burrito, and this burrito is called the Burrito Mojado. And that little pepper next to it means it's kind of spicy. Yucatan spicy, in fact. Uh, $8, and what we have inside there apparently is black beans, rice, cheese, salsa de chile, sour cream, and your choice of proteins with lettuce and tomato on the side. Uh, the sour cream, as you can see, is on the top, and I believe that uh, salsa de chile is also uh, on the top, making this a wet-style burrito. And the, uh, the protein that I chose was Mexican spicy chorizo. So that should be pretty interesting. Uh, they just started carrying chorizo at Chipotle, and I haven't tried their version yet, but I bet you it tastes like Chipotle. Hmm? Anyway, so that was $8 for this burrito. And I also picked up some salsas from their salsa bar. I got Colorado salsa, which is supposed to be hot. I got Tomatillo salsa, some know it as salsa verde, and that's a uh, more mild salsa. I got uh, Mestizo, which is a hot salsa. And then I got one that's not on the salsa bar, and that's Habanero, which uh, they're saying here is by request only, and it's got Four of those Yucatan peppers next to it there. So very, very spicy, apparently. All right, so let's take a look at our second item. All right, item. that second item is a taco, since it's called District Taco, after all. $3 for a single taco, or you can get three for eight. You can choose your type of protein and toppings. I got al pastor, which apparently is carved rotisserie pork, marinated with something called guajillo, and served with chopped pineapple. Hmm. On top of that, I got jalapenos, which are fresh jalapenos, not pickled. I got pico de gallo, and I got some shredded cheese. That all looks very, very good, if not very, very small. But I guess that's how real tacos are, you know, in the street, or, you know, from a, a, a food truck, if you will. And the third item I got is just a sack of their uh, chips and queso. This is the small sack as indicated by the label there on the top, which goes for three dollars and twenty-five cents. The large is six dollars. Open up the bag. And yep, those are chips in there. They just look like your regular restaurante style chips. Nothing to see here. Move along. But I did get 
queso along with it. Nice healthy serving it looks like anyway. Decent coloring there. Let's see if I can't pry that lid off. There you go. Nice and thick. That's the way I like it, baby. That's what she said. Anyway, we'll be right back right after this to check out all this and talk about District Taco some more on Takeout Tonight. All right, guys, I am back. And the first thing I'm going to check out is this taco. Once again, it is Al Pastor, which I guess is a rotisserie uh, roasted pork with pineapples and stuff marinated in some special way but uh yeah i can see the little yellow pineapple bits in there i got pico de gallo i got jalapenos and i got uh shredded cheese in there and let's go ahead and take a bite before this thing gets stone cold shall we well that was pretty darn tasty guys um i do like the taste of that pork very much and the uh pineapple actually really plays off of that flavor nicely because Whatever that marinade is, I forget what it's called, uh, it has a very salty thing going on with the pork, and it's a nice, juicy, succulent pork, and then the uh, pineapple juice is kind of soaked down into that. Mmm, pretty good, almost giving it like a Hawaiian type of thing. I know that might sound typical because it's got pineapple, but you know, that's my frame of reference, you know what I mean? Uh, I like my choice of toppings. Uh, the jalapenos gave it a nice spicy zing, but not too hot. The pico de gallo just adds some, you know, onion and tomato flavor, which is always welcome on a taco. And the cheese, well, hey, you gotta have cheese on a taco, guys, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and give this taco for $3 at the size that it is, the flavors that it's given me. I'll go ahead and give it a three-quarters thumbs up. It's pretty darn tasty. Uh, I might like a different meat better, but this is a good meat. Nothing wrong with it at all. But, uh, you know, I'm dying to try also, you know, their steak version, the carne asada, and the chicken, and even the barbacoa, maybe the carnitas, I don't know. But uh, as for the al pastor, that's a three-quarters thumbs up. Let me go ahead and get to this burrito, shall I? All right, so I've got this big old cardboard container with a burrito inside it, and let me show it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of the full scope of the situation that's going on right here. I'd say that's roughly the size of a Chipotle burrito. Maybe a little bit more slender. Uh, you know how the Chipotles tend to get when they're all, you know, sort of bursting at the seams. This isn't quite doing that. And it's wet, so I'm going to have to employ the uh, usage of a fork here to really see what I'm getting into. Now remember I got chorizo with this, and it's got black beans in there, and rice, and there's a... Uh, Salsa de chile on there, as well as uh, cheese inside, and it gives you a bunch of tomatoes and lettuce on the side for some reason. I don't know. All right, let me go ahead and uh, carve into this bad boy. Comes apart pretty easily. I like that. All right. Now, first thing I'll notice is that the rice is tinted quite a bit from the black bean juice. It's one thing I don't like about the use of black beans. I wish they would, I don't know, drain them a little bit better. But let me go ahead and uh, put this back on the fork where it belongs, stop being a slob, and uh, take a big old bite here. Well, overall, this has a very good flavor. It does have a little bit of a spice to it from that uh, salsa that they put on there. But the one thing I would say, and that is something that I alluded to when I first opened it up, is this thing is inundated with black bean juice and black beans themselves. Um, that's the predominant flavor inside this burrito, guys. Uh, I don't know if their chorizo is just so finely ground that it makes it almost unnoticeable with, when mixed in there with the rice. But I'm really not even getting much of a flavor from that at all. Uh, I'm getting mostly beans and rice. And uh, that's kind of sad. I'm not even really getting a good cheese flavor. But the whole thing together, the sum of, you know, put it all together, it tastes nice. I, you know, it doesn't taste bad, but it's not what I expected in terms of a uh, chorizo burrito. And I'm, I really don't see a lot. There's just little tiny flecks of the chorizo. And I'll take a little bite here. All right, yeah, I mean, I think it's just the fact that that chorizo is so finely ground that it almost becomes unnoticeable in this situation. And, uh... Perhaps I have to go with one of the chunkier meats, like the 
you know, carne asada or even that al pastor to really uh, get a good meaty burrito. But that's definitely going to lose points because of that. Let me go ahead and take one of these chips and dip it into some of this chile de salsa, or salsa de chile, I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic, and take a quick bite of that. Guys, that's really just a big bowl of okay right there. I'm very disappointed, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. It's just there's nothing special going on there. And because the meat is almost completely unnoticeable, that really, you know, turns my uh, smile upside down and turns it into a frown. So, unfortunately, with this particular protein, the chorizo, I'm going to have to give this burrito from District Taco five-eighths of a thumbs up. I mean, that might even be a little bit generous, honestly, because they really should pack that with some more of that chorizo so it's more noticeable or something, and maybe back off of the black beans a little bit, get a slotted spoon, let that uh, juice drain out a little bit, something. Because as far as I'm concerned, that just basically is like a bean and rice burrito with some stuff on top. So, eh. So-so. All right, so let me get to uh, the chips and queso and salsas here. We're just going to try all this stuff out rapid fire. First of all, we've got the queso. $3.25, like I said, for this small bag, which isn't all that terribly small. Very thick, goopy queso. Might have to add some of this to that burrito to help uh, thicken it up a little bit, make it a little more hearty, you know what I mean? So let me go ahead and dip some of that in there. This is a really stretchy uh, queso. It's not real watery, so that's really interesting. I like that in concept quite a bit. So let me go ahead and see if I like it in execution. It's thicker and cheesier than any other queso that I've ever had. It has more substance and more gumption, but one thing it doesn't have is any spice whatsoever. So that's a little bit disappointing in that aspect, but I do like it overall. I'm going to go ahead and give the um, queso here, I'm going to go ahead and give that a 7 8 thumbs up. Give it the benefit of the doubt and say if you put a little bit of this hot salsa stuff in there and mix it around a little bit, it'll be a home run, guys. But uh, as it is, it's a 7 8 thumbs up. The uh, chips could use a little more salt, but otherwise they're nice and light and airy, uh, not too greasy, although I like greasy chips, but these are pretty good the way they are. So let's go ahead and check out the salsas from the uh, mildest to the hottest, if you will. This is the Tomatillo, and I don't know if you can really see that color there, guys, but that's like almost like a slurpy green or something like that. It's very, very watery. I've had various tomatillo salsas and salsa verdes in the past that were a lot thicker than this. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of the scent going on here. Kind of a very lime smell to it in this particular case. Yeah, that's what I'm getting there, uh, but nothing in terms of like any kind of body to it whatsoever. Go ahead and dip this chicken chip in there. I'm going to have to saturate it quite a bit, I think, to really get the idea. All right, let's see what's up. If there's a lot of jump cuts going on, it's because there's like a battalion of helicopters outside having a dogfight or something, man. I don't get it. But anyway, this is basically green lime water or something like that. Um, I don't recommend it. It's a little bit sweet and it's wet, so that plays off of the saltiness of the chips a little bit. But otherwise... I've had much better salsas out of a jar than that. Uh, yeah, I'm giving this uh, tomatillo salsa probably like a quarter thumb up. I'm sorry about that, guys. So let's move on to the Colorado salsa. A lot more body to that. It's got an orangish-reddish appearance, as you can see. Go ahead and open that bad boy up. Take a little whiff. Yeah, that's got some zing to it. It smells very tomato-y. Um, and yeah, maybe a garlic thing going on there. I'm not really sure. But let me go ahead and get this chip here, load it up, take a bite. Yeah, man, that's pretty much hot right off the bat. I'm taking a look here. That's supposed to be uh, two peppers hot. So uh, pretty good indication there. It's got a good flavor. And yeah, I think it tastes pretty much like tomatoes and garlic or something like that. So yeah. That one's pretty good. I like that one. I would definitely pick that one up again. Let's move on to number three, 
And that is the Mestizo, and this has got uh, three peppers beside it, so it's supposed to be even hotter. It's got kind of a brownish-green appearance to it. Oh, it's got a very zingy smell. Wow, the aroma is nice. It opens up your sinuses quite a bit. Lots of little colors going on in there, greens and reds and little seeds and things like that. Looking good. About the same in body as the uh, Colorado, but just definitely a totally different color. Load that bad boy up on there. Let's see what we got. Wowee! Yeah, that's a spicy one there, guys. I like that a lot. And it's got a really good fresh flavor, like with lots of veggies. And I still feel it building on my tongue, man. That's nice and spicy. I like that. Wow. Okay, so the Colorado, I forgot to give that a rating. That's going to be a three-quarter thumbs up. So far, this is a seven-eighths thumbs up. That's a bad boy salsa right there. I like that quite a bit. But there's one more, and that's the habanero salsa. That's not even available on the bar. It's only available by request. I may give you a tiny little cup of it. And it's a kind of weird, unnatural color. Kind of a brownish kind of thing going on there. I don't know if you can see that real well. Got a very peppery smell, like black pepper. All right. I'm a scared. NWO, I am scared. All right. Very thick. Almost no water to this. Seems like it's all almost like a habanero paste or something like that. Yeah. Lots of black pepper in there, too, it looks like. Hmm. All right, guys, wish me luck on this one. Oh, yeah. That heat builds, man. I can feel it in my eyes. I can feel it on my tongue. I can feel it on my nose. I can feel it in my throat. It's not torture or anything like that, but it's damn hot. And I'll tell you, it may even start to give me hiccups, you know? I would compare this to... Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper salsa because I think that that ghost pepper is not as concentrated as what's going on in here with this habanero. So yeah, very, very spicy. Spicier than most habanero salsas that you find on your shelf in your stores. And uh, really tasty. It's got that nice fruity habanero flavor going on too. I think if you mix a little bit of this in that queso, you'd have an absolute home run. But I'm not going to find out right now because my time is coming to a close here. That habanero salsa is a 7 8 thumbs up as well. Like that a lot, guys. My experience here at uh, District Taco has been mixed. Um, you know, uh, good ingredients. Definitely good fresh ingredients. But uh, they missed a little bit on that chorizo there. Uh, this tomatillo salsa is basically like fruit juice. Other than that, everything else is absolutely great. I like that al pastor uh, pork. Uh, love the tortillas. They're nice and fresh. All the veggies are nice and fresh. The salsas are nice and fresh. The chips are nice and fresh. Everything is very, very nice. Uh, my entire experience at uh, DT, or District Taco as you call it, I'd go ahead and give that a cumulative two-thirds thumbs up for now. Let's see what happens when I try something else with uh, a burrito with a different protein in it next time. How about that? All right, guys, thanks for watching uh, Takeout Tonight tonight. Maybe Pete and I will be back next week. Maybe it'll be another Takeout tonight. Who knows? We're getting towards the end of the year. Uh, so things are getting a little bit loose and wild, you know? Uh, things get loose and wild on the SAS Facebook group, and you can join it by clicking on the link down below. Hundreds of the coolest people in the world are in that group, and you should be too. Why aren't you? Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BrandonReichSAS. When you do, when you talk about snacks on any of the social medias, make sure you use the hashtag Snack Society so we know what you're eating, and we'll use it so you know what we're eating too. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you on Snack Briefs on Sunday. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!